Uh, okay, so I should probably be in bed right now, but uh, I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to uh, record my reaction to In Space with Markiplier. I've actually been waiting this for a long time. Uh, I really liked Eyes and Markiplier. It was really fun. So I'm very excited to uh, watch this thing. So let's let's do it. Okay. Special effects looking sick. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. You might want to take a step back there, Captain. I'm sorry, no, I'm staring a lot. Huge fan. Huge fan. Been following your career for quite a while now. Oh, wow. Tower. This is Shuttle Marmota. So I'm someone famous. Bay 4. Okay. Closing the blast shields. Shuttle Marmota. You're cleared to talk. Yeah. Copy you. <laughs> Truth be told, we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> we're exactly where we're at. <laughs> Check it out. We're going to land in five. <laughs> Captain, uh, we're here early. First stop, the warp core. The heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works in order to use it. Okay, so it's the Death Star. <laughs> it's not gonna be like last time. Oh, no. This time, the Invincible is finally gonna live up to her name. But just in case, I built in a special precaution. Oh, I get it. Invincible wrong, too. We can detonate these yeah, explosives. Obviously, the first invincible wasn't invincible. I get the joke. This shit to me to Wait, hold on. What did he say? You can? They're gonna explode it if anything goes wrong. Special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. Okay, why would you do that though? Okay, prediction. They're gonna obviously explode that thing, you know, and the Chekhov's gun quote. If there is bombs in the f first act, then you'd better explode the bridge and the whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Captain? Bert. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's Bert. He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transit. Systems are working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. No one can give more than 100%. By definition, that is the most anyone can give. Oh, don't. Oh, also, I'm I'm excited to see like what YouTubers are in this because like there was like Matt Pat in the last one and uh, that one science person. What could go wrong with a crew like this? ADS is good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. So like so far, acting, costumes, sets, like wow, this is really good. Like I'm actually very. Impressed? How did he do this? It's amazing that like you can just get this made. Like Markiplier, he's just like a dude, but he just made this. I mean, like not by himself, obviously, but he like well. This is what this is why I love like this like creative video making. You can you can do anything, man. Hey, watch! Oh my God, I'm so. <laughs> oh no, Captain! I'm falling. Catch me! <laughs> Okay, that was weird. Navigation is online, Captain. Engines are looking good. Oh, it's Matt Pat. Oh shoot, he's back. Let's go. Yes, sir. It's for you to say the word. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. Oh. Do I have to give a speech? Um Hello. Uh, um so we're I'm not sure what we're doing here, but We'll gonna space this ship so hard that it's gonna explode. I don't know. Oh wait, is that Chica? Oh. oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course. But just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not. Wormhole opening in ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Reminds me of that one scene in Mega Man. A software update is available. Would you like to restart to apply this update? Um, coffee is en route. Current ship state is being absolutely catastrophic. Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. That's definitely not good. Reviving head engineer.
fire on the bridge. Light support system is failing. Automatic fire suppression system offline. Fail safes offline. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, it's choice time. Uh Oh shoot. Oh god, this is always intense for me. Oh god. Okay. Fire is probably the most impending problem, so let's do that. Come on. Alert. Fire extinguished. Warning. Oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. Okay. It's fine. It's, it, we're all good. Uh, we can just grab an oxygen tank. We're gonna die. Oh, uh, we dead? I think we just died. Really suck if we just died. Do we die? Okay, we're not dead. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is on route. Did I just restart? Our ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Hold on. Initializing emergency. Wakey, wakey. Are we getting into time travel now? Yeah, so this is exactly the same thing. Captain, what the hell is going on? Oh, we are. Oh, we are. We're doing time travel. Oh, that's so cool. Um, what's happening? Dude. Oh my God. So, oh, so whenever you do a choice, and you die, you go. We go back and have the knowledge. Oh, that is. I love this already. Offline. Error. Life support systems failing. Uh, I'll get life support. Error. Backup systems offline. Fail safes offline. Oh yeah, and then we saved him. We have two people. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, this is. Oh wow. Alert. Fire extinguished. Captain. Are we in the upside down? That's not creepy at all. Oh, Captain, there you are. I got life support back online. I still don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. Jack, you ready? Impact detected. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? Yes, offline. Why? Offline. Computer, what is wrong? Offline. Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? ADS is offline. This doesn't make any sense. We got asteroids hitting the ship, but our guns aren't shooting them down. Well, thankfully, uh, there's still guns, so, you know, we should just be able to point and shoot. The asteroid defense system is... Well, that's new. I know you got a plan to save us cooking up in that big brain. Oh, yeah, of I got a plan. See the wheels turn. Three you choices? Three choices, dude? I can't handle this. Uh, for, I mean, for sure, send Mark in. You're, you're done. You're dead, buddy. Me, you want me to go in there. Yeah. Fix it. No way this is gonna end badly. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jason, Captain. You know the systems after all, so I should be able to fix it. I won't let you down. Come on, get in there, buddy. <laughs> He's totally gonna live. I'm predicting it. Oh. 
No. Um. Asteroid defense system online. Oh, he fixed it. Job is done, Captain. Oh, it worked. He didn't die. Enough of my blood got on the DNA scanners. They recognized me as me and stopped shooting long enough for me to fix the system. I don't know why they were shooting at me in the first place, but I'll run some diagnostics now that the ship seems to be out of imminent peril. Coolant leak in cryo. Computer, what happened to cryo? Oh, God. I definitely thought that would be the wrong choice. <laughs> but I, I guess, um, subverting expectations. Maintenance. Maintenance? Shutting down. Why? Oh, whatever! There's a leak in cryo. It's negative 200 degrees in there. We gotta fix it fast or we're gonna start losing colonists. What should we do, Captain? What should we do? Um, it's on the we. Okay, I'm totally sending Mark in again. <laughs> You're gonna suffer as much as possible. Good me, but I just did the repair thing. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, it's not my place, but maybe you could take a swing at this one. Leave from the front or something like that. No, no, dude, you're doing it. Come on. <laughs> but, 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 Captain, but, Captain, I, 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 I really don't want to do this. It's really cold in there. And, and so I thought maybe I, could, maybe I could warm up a little bit. Or, or you could stop head burning. Or, or maybe we can take charge. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I really want to kill Mark, actually. <laughs> Are we trying to kill him? Alert! Colonist core temperature stabilizing. Jobs done, Captain. Warning! <laughs> reactor overload imminent. Now the reactor's gonna go kablooey. How many things can go wrong in this ship? We gotta move! Warning, venting plasma. Ooh. Well, that was a little... Warning, 30 seconds until catastrophic reactor meltdown. Someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. Oh. No. Do we... Do we send him in again? Do we send Mark in again? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Fuck you. <laughs> like, who, who's not doing this? Come on. Captain, please. No, I... It's too much. I can't do it. Oh, no. Yeah, the reactor will get you nice and melted. Yeah, we're... He's... Reactor output stabilizing. Wow, I shouldn't have doubted you. I was so cold from cryo, I didn't even feel the heat. And it thawed me out so evenly. I don't think I'm gonna lose any limbs to frostbite. You really do know what you're doing, don't you? <laughs> yeah, lucky frick you, I hate you. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Computer, wake all crew leads and get them running diagnostics. Waking crew. Okay, at least that still works. Why didn't you do that sooner, though? It would have been so much easier to fix all the systems on the ship if the crew leads had been awake. Well, yeah, um, whatever. the thing is, I hate you. <laughs> whatever. The ship seems stable for now. Keep the captain in attitude. The core, but at least we can get to the bottom of this. We are an I asshole. Swear, if one more thing blows up on my ship, I'm gonna lose it! What the hell is that?! Yes, yeah, the reactor, and you're gonna fix That's it. New. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, Wait, so we're just gonna lose the reactor? Yes. Make way! Make way! What the hell's happening, Captain? It's normal. Mark, look at this. This is your fault. I need you to go cry out. Check and make sure it's stable. A computer, put this up on the main monitor. Captain, you're gonna want to see this. My God. We're stuck in a goddamn wormhole. Whole stress is redlining across all decks. It's holding for now, but I can't tell you how long that's gonna last. Captain, what do you say? About time? Yeah. Computer, activate the event horizon protocol! That's it? 
You tied explosives to that? No confirmation? It worked, didn't it? I'm gonna kill you. Gunther said it was okay. Hey, we're gonna be drifting for a while without the warp core, but we're safe. I think the colonists are gonna be okay. Nice to see you, Captain. Okay. With the Event Horizon protocol activated, the Invincible 2 was free from the effects of the wormhole and sent adrift into the vastness of space in search of a new planet to colonize. Specifically, Mark is searching for it because he ordered him to, not because he's the best at it. No, 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 no. He's definitely not the best, as his demerit record clearly shows. <laughs> he's just the one your mind drifts to when something needs doing. Perhaps because you consider him to be a friend. Yeah, I love him. Not, not really, yeah. This pattern of dutiful obedience carries on for many years until one night you are struck with another problem that only Mark can solve. As you lay in your luxurious captain's bed, you find that you just can't seem to get comfortable. You ring the summoning bell that's been genetically coded to Mark to alert oh, the him summoning need, bell, as is customary for any discomfort you experience. You command him to bring you another pillow to ease your aching bones, weary from the arduous work in micromanagement. Only a few seconds behind schedule, for which you give him the proper demerits, Mark arrives, pillow gripped tightly in both hands. You make the minimal effort required to gesture for his approach, and he does with a slightly more gleeful smile than usual. Uh -oh. There's a certain twinkle in his eye that you haven't seen before. And something that, if it were anyone else, you'd assume might be a hint of mischievousness. But Mark isn't the mischievous type. But unwarranted eye twinkling, you just can't abide. You pull up your tablet and scroll through the multitudes of demerits to find eye twinkling, eye twinkling. as Mark approaches with the pillow. His smile growing with every step. And to your complete lack of surprise, he somehow screws up the simple act of giving you a pillow. He put it on your head instead of under it. Surely oh, there's shit. a demerit for improper execution of locational prepositions. Oh, Captain. frick. We just got... We just got smothered. I guess that's the... Oh, wait, what? There's another... There's another video. Wait, is this gonna like send us back to the beginning? And then let's gonna like tie it all together. That would be so sick. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is on route. Bro, current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Wait a minute. I thought it was that over. Is this gonna keep going? Does this feel like to you? Familiar to you? And where are you going? The fire on the bridge. Fire extinguished. Life support systems failing. Oxygen levels rising. Asteroid defense system is offline. Asteroid defense system online. I'm kind of confused right now. Huh? Dude, oh my god. Oh. Freaking. I don't know. Get Wait, I can't click on this. Oh, it was a fake choice. You got me, not gonna lie. I should have seen the time bar. Wow, okay. What the hell is happening? No more. No more. It ends here. I'm not gonna let you do it. I'm not gonna let you do it. You're gonna tell me what you did. You're gonna tell me, and then you are going to undo all of the damage that you have done. Wait, we're, we're trying to go through these doors? I 
I just wonder if this is ever gonna end or if it's just like an infinite loop. Emergency wiki wiki protocol override acknowledged. Opening cryopod. Am I? Are you? Did I? Did you? Did we? <laughs> We're immortal! Or something like that. <laughs> I Backup systems engaged. Okay. Uh, computer, can you shut down the warp core? Negative. Warp core cannot be reached. Okay, so the wormhole's still a problem. And my emergency repair protocol can't shut it down from here. We need to get in the warp core somehow. But that shouldn't be a problem for two immortal gods like us. <laughs> so what do you say? Come on, let's jump in again. What's the worst that could happen? We could die again, I guess. <sighs> okay, let me take a second to like try and summarize what just happened because I'm kind of confused. So, we uh, after we got smothered by Mark, uh, we we did we clicked on this one. We tried to commit suicide; it didn't work. So then we ran all the way to the warp core room, jumped in for some reason. Oh no, there there was that lady. Uh, from like another dimension or something telling us to, to undo the damage we caused, which I don't even know what she's talking about. Um, we, we jumped into the wormhole, found a door, got led to another room that like gave us a little crystal thingy, told us to resolve a paradox or something, and now we're here. <clears throat> Do we want to jump in again? Fine, I don't know. Although the video is only 40 seconds long, so I, I'm getting it probably not going to end well. Yeah. We'll be at that warp core before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time, too. So, this time, I'll dash right, you dash right. The wrong decision? Ah, okay. I'm not quite what I expected. But now we know what not to do. So, what do you say? Let's jump in again. We almost had it last time. We'll def- <laughs> It's just gonna keep going? <laughs> of course I'm gonna jump in again, why would I not? Hell yeah! Shouldn't be long now before we're resting on the shores of our new home planet. We'll be heroes. First they'll give you a medal. Then they'll give me a medal. Then they'll give you a medal. Then they'll give me a medal. Then they'll give you a medal. They might give her a medal. Then they'll Okay. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh. That was my bad. I kind of get distracted by all the pretty colors. But they do say that failure is the best teacher, so shall we go again? Come on, buddy. Friend, pal. Oh, we gotta go in again. We gotta keep going in. It's only right, right, right decision. Hell yeah! I think we almost had it last time. It was pretty close there. I mean, you kind of screwed up, but I was doing great. So I'm gonna fix what I did wrong. You just do something completely different so that it's better. And we'll get there in no time and save all our people before they can say... <laughs> No, we're doing great, guys. It's gonna work. Come on. Uh, Captain? <clears throat> I'm not the type to assign blame, but uh, I can't help but feel like you could have tried a little harder. Like, uh, I get that I'm the one to pull the most weight around here, but we could help each other. Hey, don't give me sash, okay? They're out, you know? But it's okay. Why don't we try it again? We'll jump back in, and this time, we'll work together. We'll work together. No, like we gotta, we gotta keep doing it. Let's see where this goes. Hell yeah! We'll be at that warp core before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time too. So this time, I'll dash right. You dash. Oh, I see. It's an infinite loop. Okay. Well played. I was gonna keep jumping in. <laughs> Not quite what I expected, but now we know what not to do. So, what do you say? I guess we're calling an emergency meeting like it's Among Us. 
Yeah, you're probably right. They deserve to know what's happening. And they might have some ideas how to solve this. Probably not good ones, though. <laughs> Captain, thank you for oh, they have the same idea. And thorough explanation of the situation. And also, that's impossible. <laughs> what if we back the ship up into the wormhole? What if we pop her in reverse and just undo all the wormhole stuff? Okay, Mark, I owe you an apology because obviously you're not the stupidest person on this ship. Thank you. Hey, Captain, we never do my stuff. <laughs> Clearly, we need to send out a distress signal because someone sabotaged this ship. You know, now that she mentions it. Wait, so <laughs> is this Among Us? <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. no one sabotaged the ship because the only two people that can change anything on the ship are me and the captain. And the only person that I trust more than myself is the captain. Or. Hear me out. <laughs> Beep. No, 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 it's not up to you. It's not up to you. And I'm sorry, it's not up to you. I think you sounds like a good idea. Okay. I honestly like <laughs> that guy's idea. So let's let's do that. <laughs> Pop or inverts. Captain. No, you crazy. We're all gonna die. Oh my god. For once in your life. We are not gonna die. Oh, there's a pine there's a pine tree air fresh in there. You got this, Captain. That's funny. Okay. Now that didn't work. Another day, another crisis. Current ship status broken. Just like my marriage. <laughs> Okay. Here I am again, back for another ride on the merry-go-round of life. Am I immortal? Am I some kind of god? Or was this just another cruel game? I use some more of the genre shifting that I loved in the last one. Some problems can't be solved with a swing of the fist, no matter how strong you are. What? When the love of your life tears you to pieces, well, that's a wound that just won't heal. The kind of wound that leads you down... Yeah, shut up. The captain looked right through me with those baby gray eyes. The kind of look that could kill. And the kind of looks that could kill to match. Maybe someday I'll work up the courage to ask them out on that date. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe someday I'll destroy the universe. So, Captain, got any other ideas to get us out of this mess? Or, uh, you're just happy to see me? Wait, we have two... Options, send a distress signal, fire all weapons at the worm. I'm tr I really want us to die. I, re I really do. Oh, they're blinds. I'm this is really fun. Hello? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's for you. It's me, the wormhole. I bet you thought I was dead, didn't you? Oh, I gotta admit. It was a pretty good shot, but when you shoot the kill, you better make sure they're dead, because they might just come shooting back. I'm coming for you, Captain! <laughs> what? The wormhole called us on the phone? Wrong number. Swirl of blue energy, the captain of the Invincible 2 finds themselves back in their cryopod. The captain looks around, slightly confused for unknown reasons. Eventually, they get on with it and pull the emergency release to free them from the confines of their cryogenic prison. Why is your narration? Stepping out of the pod, the captain wonders to themselves if they are, perhaps, stuck in some sort of purgatory. Now, to be honest, we've all seen this part before, and I don't want the viewers at home to get bored. So why don't we skip ahead a few pages and get to our good friend, Wub? Wait, what viewers? What? What did you say? What viewers? Where are we? Oh, you! Wug. Owie. And so our intrepid adventurers have arrived at the Universal Stability Agency, 
But is it too late for them to stop the rampaging wormhole that they have unleashed upon the cosmos? Will Mark ever learn the captain's deep, dark secret? What? What? Only one way to find out. What was that about a deep, dark secret? The band. Now we get to the interrogation. You are destroying everything. The bandit knocks out Lady. What? <clears throat> I said the bandit knocks out lady. That's not my name. And no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's so hard not working with professionals. A vent cover falls on lady's head. I said that's not my name. <laughs> and back to the ship. There we are, back on track. And not a moment too soon. With the device from the bandit in hand, our intrepid captain now has the tools necessary to make their way to the warp core without further delay. But will the twisting holes of the invincible tube? I'm sorry. Tube, what did you say they have? The uh, uh the ah, uh, the portable temporal displacement device. You know, the MacGuffin that allows our captain to navigate the chaos that is this ship. I didn't give them anything like that. Oh my God. Okay. The captain looks down and sees the device. It glows. The captain can get to the warp core now. They just have to find it there. All you need to do now is use the device and you'll be well on your way to part two of this whole ordeal. So the real part business two. can begin. Part to another universe. What? There's no other way. Oh. You must move forward. Yeah, okay. Do everything is there another you. choice that I... Yeah, I'm not going to use that device. Oh. Screw you, man. What are you doing? What's up, Captain? You got a plan? No, 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 that is not part of the story. You can't do that. This is expressly <laughs> illogical, and I won't have it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 The captain changes their mind. What? What? Are you waiting for me? All right, fine. The ship blows up, I guess. Unbelievable. You deserve what's coming to you. Okay. Having fun, Captain? Every choice spawns a new universe. And if that's the case, what kind of universes do you think your choices have been making? Hmm? You haven't been working very hard to save your crew, have you, Captain? What's one choice among the infinite, you might ask? One mistake is not all. And it's true, not all choices matter. Some choices. Captain, some choices are everything. So, I'm gonna make this easy for you. I'm only going to give you one choice. This portal will take you right where you need to be. All you have to do is step inside. Don't you want to save your people? No. I, You're the only one who can. I don't want to do that. Think long and hard about this, Captain. Okay, I'm defying all the way. I'm going to die on this hill. Who are you also? Looking for this? Oh, Captain. I can't say I'm surprised. You always were stubborn. But that's your choice. You always did have a choice. I just thought you might want to at least understand the choices you're making. It's the end? We, are we finally at the end? Do you even know who you are? Do you feel like you've been here before? Or is this just history repeating itself? Um... Lag. Okay, so let's get ready to go. <laughs> what the? What now? Am I just waiting for this bar to load?